I first decided I was interested in a career in medicine back in college. I had the opportunity to start doing research in a uh, laboratory that was working on brain cancer. I became very interested in brain cancer at that time um, and from there decided I wanted to pursue a career in medicine. When I entered medical school as a result of my experience in college, I knew I was interested in oncology. I then did different rotations in the different parts of oncology, so I looked at medical oncology, surgical oncology, and radiation oncology, and I felt in the long term that radiation oncology was the best match for my interests. Uh, as well as I really enjoyed the way we interacted with patients. When I'm not working, the thing I enjoy most is spending time with my children. So uh, many in my field know that I have four kids uh, and they're the light of my life. Uh, additionally, outside of them, I also enjoy running a lot. So I specialize in women's cancers, in particular breast cancer, as well as GYN malignancies like endometrial cancer and cervical cancer. Proton therapy is an excellent option for some breast cancer patients because proton therapy, with the way it works, it can better spare the heart and some of the lung tissue from additional doses of radiation therapy. So I think about using proton therapy in certain breast cancer patients, particularly women who have a left-sided cancer, because the heart lies more on the left side, women who have bilateral cancers or cancers on both sides at the same time, very young women, or also women who have had radiation previously for another type of cancer, whether that might be breast cancer or also a lymphoma, for example. The gynecologic patients that we think may benefit from proton therapy are women who have locally advanced endometrial cervical cancers, where we may need to treat the periodic lymph nodes. We also think about it in women who are very young and develop cancers. In particular, we sometimes have cervical cancer patients who are maybe in their 20s who we think about using proton therapy in because it can better spare their normal tissues. The other cohort of patients that we think about a lot for are women who've already had radiation for their prior malignancy. So unfortunately for some women, their cervical cancer or endometrial cancer may come back and proton therapy can be very beneficial in those cases. I think like most doctors, I'd say the thing I enjoy most about my work is interacting with my patients. I really love being able to make relationships with them and also make a difference in their lives.